crisis, and it all starts with the border. Open borders bring illegal immigrants, drugs, and crime to California, but Congress does nothing. Convicted criminal Dave Min would make it worse. Safety and security aren't partisan issues. Politicians in Washington do nothing to bring us together. We need to secure the border, stop the fentanyl crisis, and keep Orange County safe. That all starts with a congressman who cares about you. I'm Scott Baugh, and I approve this message. Class leading safety features at every turn. The Hyundai Tucson. Get 1.99% APR for 60 months on the Hyundai Tucson or Tucson Hybrid. See your SoCal Hyundai dealer. This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. And now at 6.30, former President Trump rallying here in SoCal. A live look from the Coachella Valley where Trump is speaking right now. A deadly shooting inside of a popular sports bar in El Monte leaves one man dead and two women injured. The latest on the search for the suspect and who else police want to speak with. And a live look outside on your Saturday night when we'll be getting some more heat back into our area. Welcome to KCAL News at 6 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Gio Antignores. And I'm Leslie Medin. We're also streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Well, with just 24 days until the election, former President Donald Trump is on stage right now for a rally here in SoCal. It's an unusual move because California has been a reliably blue state for decades. With that, KCAL political reporter Tom Waite here to explain why. Tom? And you, Leslie, one big reason people are asking is because Trump lost California by 30 points in 2020. So it's a good question, right? So political experts say Trump is likely trying to fire up his supporters, not just here, but across the country by coming into what is considered solid Democratic territory. Let's take a look again. The former president is speaking right now. He arrived at Coachella a short time ago and went on the attack, taking on one of his favorite targets, California, and, of course, Vice President Kamala Harris. The radical left Democrats have destroyed this state, but we are going to save it, and we're going to make it better than ever before. Yet I've come here today not only to talk about California, where you have one of the worst governors in the country, Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom. No, but you definitely had somebody here that was horrible. Kamala, Kamala. And now she wants to, now she wants to destroy our country. Of course, once again, pronouncing her name incorrectly, it is Kamala, of course. Many Trump supporters, along with some famous ones, also coming out to help push Trump's campaign. Former President Donald Trump landing in Palm Springs, taking his election fight to deep blue California, rallying his supporters in Coachella. Among those supporters, actor Dennis Quaid. I'm here today to tell you that it's time to pick a side. Are we going to be a nation that stands for the Constitution? Or for TikTok? Quaid saying Trump, who is a convicted criminal, would be a president to enforce the nation's laws. Are we going to be a nation of law and order? Or wide open borders? The former president's trip to California with less than a month to go before the election is raising questions about strategy, given that he lost the Golden State by almost 30 points in 2020. But experts...